you want to get your chicken out of the package, drain your extra juices off in the sink, then you want to take out the insides. My chicken is still a little frozen, wrong side. So then what we're gonna do is we are going to take, and inside the cavity, we're going to take our seasoned salt. You do not need to wash your chicken before you cook it. All that does is splat chicken germs all over your kitchen, and no self-respecting germ would live to the proper cooking temperature, so you don't need to worry about it. Now, I stuff as many onions as I can inside, along with my seasoned salt, and then I just place the rest of them around my chicken. Then all I do is put this in an oven at 275 degrees and let it cook all day long for five to eight hours, depending on when your dinner is. Baste occasionally every one to two hours if you want, or just the hour before it's ready, that's fine. If you want, you can throw some potatoes or carrots in with this the hour before it's done. Also, that's how simple it is. Let me get this in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. If you're worried about your chicken being done, just put a meat thermometer in it. It needs to be 165 degrees or more. You don't need a meat thermometer though to, to check and see if it's done. All you have to do is put in a fork and see how easily that just falls apart then you know your chicken is done, safe to eat. If you're not quite ready for dinner and your chicken is all nice and golden, just turn your heat down to 170 degrees to keep it warm, and basting it every 30 minutes to an hour. You have beautiful roast chicken. The recipe is in the description below. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Don't forget to clean anything that has chicken juice on it with a little bit of bleach water or rubbing alcohol.